Okay. Um, things in your kit, let's just get into it, that you need that you may not think as a makeup artist that you need. Let's start with hygiene. This is my personal deodorant. However, I sometimes go to Target, you know, in the section when you're walking out in Walmart where they have the little mini deodorants. I just usually grab one of them or two of them and just throw in my bag. You, you just don't know. Always have a deodorant. One of the other things that I carry with myself is my personal um, perfume, but you can carry a little splash, whatever you like. But I sometimes, most of the times, carry a perfume in my bag. And this Ralph Lauren Romance Rose, honey, heaven. Another thing is a lint roller. As a makeup artist, you double as a therapist, a wardrobe stylist and also a lot of other things one of the things you will need in your kit is a lint roller honey a lint can make or break a whole outfit for your client another thing that I carry with myself this is the hair addiction uh, edge control some edge control honey you don't know who will need some edge control always have this in your kit another thing that I like to carry with me is my edge control i personally because i'm natural like at ed this edge control um but you know just have some edge control and some gel another thing that you will need is some tape i use this tape honey sometimes for you know a cut crease or whatever just to get the liner perfect but you may need some tape for something else to tape up the wardrobe um the wardrobe sheet um the call sheet you just don't know throw some tape in there trust me it has come in handy for me another thing that i carry with me is these little clips that i got from home depot they come in all sizes they're electrical tape you never know when you will have a wardrobe there and your client comes and whatever she's wearing or he's wearing is too big and especially for a photo shoot or when the client is not moving that much you just clip that bad boy honey Another thing that I carry with me is a scissor. As a makeup artist, we already are supposed to have scissors, but this helps also in wardrobe and comes in handy. Sometimes the director needs it. You just never know. Scissors saves, uh, saves you a lot of times. Hair clips, rubber bands. You never know when the pants is too big for a client, and you may have to put some rubber bands just to try to hem it right quick, put a hair in a ponytail to change the style of the client's hair, or whatever just to assist your client because even if you're not hired for hair or there is no hair you never know when you have to switch it up put your hair up or put the client's hair up so always have some rubber bands again this is from Dollar Tree it comes like a hundred in a pack a brush a big comb and a regular small comb these are the things that you may not think you need in your kit as a makeup artist that you need on your kit especially if you're hired for the day for the bride or you are like me and you go to a lot of photo shoots with your clients indoor and outdoor so right now what i'm doing is filling up my ziploc bag with my lip wand my spoolie and my little I, well i don't know what you call this it's it's a swap i use this sometimes for lips to line the lips I sometimes use it for liner. I use this for a lot of different things, but this comes, these three things in a pack, like a hundred each on Amazon for like nine to twelve dollars. I can't recall. And I'm also going to be refilling my uh, wedges and my cotton swabs. And yep, yeah, this will be going in my kit. So I'm trying to show you guys certain things that I carry with me and how I pack them up in my kit to go along for the day. Today may be a long shooting day, so just always, always being more than what you need. Even though they may say you may have one client, you don't know if an extra one may need or somebody may come on set to be featured. You just don't know. Just be ready. Here I'm just showing you some of my wardrobe for my client that I'm packing for today. She's having seven changes and maybe two backups. So I'm just showing you guys that I laid this out 
in my living room make sure that i have everything i have a list that i go through the night before with the director the producer or whoever and i make sure that i have everything i double as a wardrobe stylist for this movie and yeah i'm just showing you guys the different outfits all of them are beautiful